Welcome back to Professor Layton. Wait a minute, what, what are you doing introducing this part? It's Professor Layton, I should be doing it. Um, We're sorry, Prager, but the Professor really insisted. See, All right, fine, fine, Professor, you introduce Professor this. suddenly announces his need to speak to Inspector Damas. Um, tell me. The, the professor, professor suddenly announces his need to announce. Shut up! The professor has taken a renewed interest in the food. God damn it, you made me lose my train of thought, woman! <laughs> oh, that's, what you get. that's what you get when you get into other people's monologues. <laughs> Inspector, the same thing I need to ask you. Can you spare just a moment? Ah, oh, late. I see you've been busy. I didn't think you'd manage to solve 50 puzzles so soon. Are you calling me dumb? <clears throat> uh, I mean, um... Jesus Christ, Layton has some repressed rage. <laughs> he does. He does. Tell Don't me, worry, has everyone. Has the search been useful fats yet? Another missing dog, perhaps? <laughs> yes, Lucas, there have been any missing dogs. <laughs> um, but there was maybe one. Shut up! Would you mind showing me the photo? But you oh, don't oh, I don't understand Jeez, there's a man, calm it. down. Hmm. Well, Later. I see you've solved 50 puzzles already, so I can Take tell you're serious about this investigation. I haven't been serious before. You Why see, guys. Up this case. So if you think you can help, I might. Have, you see, Pixie, credibility in this world depends on how many puzzles you've solved. Yep. Is something the matter, sir? There's a hole in my blasted pocket. Um. Uh. Luke, hide the scissors. Oh no! There's a snake in your boot. <laughs> I've been scattering the pieces about without even noticing. Oh, that was a this. very random animation. <laughs> this is a this is a low point in my career. You see that all the remains of the photo is, is this one scrap. You, wow. you know you're a really <laughs> shitty detective, you know that. Oh, Professor! Uh, with really it, shitty it shoulders like and a really see shitty that photo again. <laughs> oh, Luke, it's a photo. Get over it. Perhaps not. The pieces were all still in my pocket when we entered full sense. Of that much, I am sure. How did you get here, anyway? The train. He came in the train, remember? He came in the train with us, Professor. Don't you remember? Uh, oh, on. Professor, you go and see, Naya. No, I think he meant, like, how did he end up here? Because remember, I mean, like, not all the carriages ended up here. I'm guessing he was in the, investigating the deluxe carriage uh, around that time. He was probably <laughs> asking stuff about to Professor, to Mr. Use Rodrigo. what the inspector remembers to find the path he took through town. I took a few turns, but only one at the junction that had a cafe on it. I also passed I in front of one hat shop. Shut up. Oh, and one flower shop too. And I didn't walk any... Hold on, uh, Hold like on this. Professor Layton. Why are you uh, doing my monologue? I'm supposed to it. say that. Because it's my game. Uh, yes, but this is my line. You see, yeah, Inspector Tommy, Professor is sort of a bit furious over this unbroidered rage he has over an unsolved conflict that will actually be resolved with a long I already, lost... I can, uh, I, can, I, can, I can already see um, the headlines uh, on the on gaming news websites tomorrow. But Professor Chelney leaves the Professor Layton series because... <laughs> Professor Layton was being such a prima donna, and the and the and the, and the, and the company won't uh, let go of their stars. Let's just let go of Professor Ch of Inspector Chummy. Sure <laughs> I have every confidence it will lead us to the elite. He wants course. to nullify his contract. Say no more. I'm sold. I You're think sold? we can get there through the little path where that bulldog was sitting. You're being sold. Uh, okay, people, bid for Luke. Wait, Professor, no. I'll take 500 pounds. Here you go. Enjoy your new life, Luke. Professor, you were talking to an empty lane. Goodbye, Luke. <laughs> Professor, I'm right next to you. Do you even... Chapter 5. No, nah, he drove away, didn't you hear him? Chapter 5. He doesn't realize that Luke court. is actually right You'll next to him. My side you see, the plot twist is that he actually sold Luke to himself. Welcome back, sirs. Still busy in the investigation, I see. No, oh, lovely. Shit. Our time is quite fast, so take care not to tie yourselves out. Professor, do you think maybe we should check on Flora? Not yet, Luke. I need to my donut. <laughs> Precious metals. He's such a dick. Thank you. Lucky you. You've inherited a five square plot of land that's rich in precious metals. Each chunk of copper at ore has a value of one, each silver chunk has a value of three, and each gold chunk has a whopping value of five. You're allowed to pick five squares of land for yourself, but the five squares must be connected to each other. Squares diagonal to one another don't count as connected. Your task is to claim the most valuable five square plot possible. Can you do it? There, I finally let you say a puzzle piece in this part. You see, guys, <laughs> Professor Lane is feeling a bit, how shall we say, mournful over something that occurred in the past, which we'll find out about in Unwound Future and will actually be resolved. Well, you uh, see, everyone, just I, watch I, I, the I movie be surprised. and cleanse your palate, because Dwibs isn't talking in that. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he's he's nice. uh, if a reporter finds Professor Layton uh, drinking or, or having drugs, and you know, <gasps> like he's get, he's getting more and more frustrated with his life. So, but he's become pretty much a, a, a fallen celebrity. You see, Pedro, this is why we have to wait till Wesley Snipes goes into his trailer. You see, Pedro, this is why we have to wait till Unwound Future for Professor Layton to stop being a jerk because. Maybe then there might be something, wink, wink, that actually happens. Yes. All right, it's, uh, she Stop writes. Spoiling the game. Hold on, hold on. Somebody wanted to say something. Pixie did. Pixie. Yeah, I, I was. No, I was just gonna say. Um, sure, I'd give you a high five if we could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, we got ourselves a key, but uh, Bart, we got ourselves a diary key, but we, but Bart has, has one too. So let's get it, get it out of him. Get this under your hats. But you know what that hole in the spider did? A the dog. Officer, which dog? Oh looks? gosh, can you imagine if Dwibs dubbed the movie in his own <laughs> way? Well, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. dogs can sniff out mean people, you know. It's just more proof that he needs to be nicer. Hey, maybe I can be in another bridge series or something. I could just oh, don't see of us don't making it a bridge movie. series. Yeah, you could actually. If there ever, if if there ever was a late in the bridge series, Dwibs would definitely be, have to be late. In. <laughs> <laughs> it would be brilliant. All right, so just to say we can't make our own abridged oh, version of the movie. How many terms? Chelmy sent his squad out to investigate an accident. Before leaving, he said this: "I wanted to search the entire area shown on this map. Take any route you want, but report how many times you turn in the process. You're free to turn both left or right, but U turns are strictly forbidden." The bu the bubbles completed their shift and bobbies. Returned. The bobbies. <laughs> the reported turns. <laughs> Judging by the reports, though, it seems at least one man was loafing on the job. Such a number as you think are suspicious to mark and mark them with an X. So yeah, which 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 do you guys think are def were definitely loafing on the job because you know they haven't made that <laughs> made. Um, eighty eight. I wonder. Remember, remember, U turns are strictly forbidden. So yeah, if one of the I policemen, see. if one of the policemen has said he turned a total of a thousand times during the course of his investigation, the inspector would have no reason to doubt the Bobby was telling the truth. But what if he was lying? With you turns for Is it on Sonic 06 where there's all lying except for well wait there's yeah. two of them with, that are lying. With you turns forbidden, there's a certain logic. Oh wait, leaving the station and turning an odd number of times, regardless of the number, will land you on a ver vertical street. Conversely, turn an even number of times after leaving the station, and you'll end up in a row that runs horizontally across the screen. Exactly. So basically, so, so basically it's a matter of you yourself trying a bit some turns and figuring out exactly how this town works. And you'll find out, for example, that, uh, well, I'll just let the game explain it in the answer. And now to test my theory. Yes! Mm. Well I'm done, Professor! There is no puzzle unsolved. All right. Wow. Sharp thinking. The two men who took 105 and 114 turns must have been slacking off. Since the men started out on a horizontal path, you can infer that they turned on an odd number of times. They'll end up on a vertical path, conversely. Basically, it's a, a, a mixture of combining odd numbers and even numbers with some logic put into it. Well, that's her. I must be off. There's better not need to go back. Do watch yourselves out when we the streets. There's no telling what's out there. I'm sorry, I have a code. Likewise, officer. All right, Jova, you're up. Oh, right. <clears throat> All right, basically, Pixie, we found this diary of a certain character that's going to appear later on in the game, and Jova's playing that character, which is why he's narrating the diary. Yep. Ah, father okay. had always done what he wants, regardless of who may object. He's that way with everyone, even his sons. It's no wonder my younger brother always seems so irritated with him. Even so, he and I must endear father's whims, because as the next in line to rule Volsens, we cannot leave this town, even if we want to. We are stewards of this town, and we must stay here to watch over it. Ah, uh, a sad story. Anyway, moving on. Professor, that's still another entry. I don't care, just just get it over with. No longer able to tolerate father's selfish ways, my brother has left full sense for good. Strangely enough, father doesn't seem affected by it at all. If anything, he only seems more focused on excavating even more gold from the mine. Is that miserable or worth so much to him? I'm beginning to think that I will never understand that man. You missed out the word younger, you incompetent fool! I'm the producer, so I fire you! You see, guys, you, this is why Leighton is being an a-hole, because the spirit of this guy's father is infiltrating him. Get out of my head! Leave my brain alone! Fight him, Professor! Never. Fight him! Never. Someday, maybe you can be free of it! Um, oh wait, sorry, Luke, it was just a dream. 
Oh. All right, so. Oh, Professor, I must have had the same dream, but you were really <laughs> pale. Well, you both are out of time, am I right? Darby. Yeah, Dar Dar Darby. Derby. So wait, people, f people from Darby online. You certainly <laughs> are. How did you work that out? Be smart, Luke. Are we in Bizarro World? What? Are you <laughs> saying I'm? Are you saying we're <laughs> smart? Because I am too. Plus, I got a trick for working out who's local and who's not. Um, how do you do that? Do you um, check their accents? Wow, that sounds handy. Can you teach me how to do it too? No, no, can uh, you teach me how to do it? Sure, huh? why not? But not for free. Let me guess a puzzle. What? I've been feeling a bit down lately. Sure, here's some cocaine. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ, man. It's Sherbert, Luke. Just well, I imagine we might be able to whip up a classic cup of tea that will excite your taste buds. Look, hide the heroin. That's what delicious. Heroin? Delicious. <laughs> Professor, this isn't heroin. Classic. This is just sugar. Are you seriously mistaking taste. sugar for heroin? Let me All right, taste that. a classic taste that would be citrus classic. And that's a good tea. A smile spreads across Darby's face as he lets out a concerned her her. And I made that tea all by myself. Professor, <laughs> I made the, the tea. I tell you, the classics really are the you best. See, you see, Luke, because this is called Professor Layton. He's it's how to the me. Of spill the beans. How do you tell outsiders from locals in this town? It's a piece of uh, pudding. Just get up real close. You see, Luke, when it's me... Well, that's my game. Mm -hmm. it's all sniff. credits go to me. So yeah, his plan to tell locals from not locals is to get up close and sniff them. <laughs> you, <laughs> sir, are disgusting. Well, he's apparently got the nose for the job. I see. You must Look. behave like a dog. So much for behaving like a true gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've, I haven't been a true gentleman. Hey, okay, so you're up. Changed your mind after you love? I take it you want to come inside and have a look around. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, Professor, it smells! No, no, Luke, keep going, you might get laid. I oh, feel so dirty. No, no I. He's. He's. Oh, 11. You <laughs> need to be shot. I know this wow. is. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Fuck oh, God! God. <laughs> Professor, that was you wearing that costume all this time? Uh, uh, look, a rainbow! Professor, what, what sort of sick yeah, fetish is this? Uh, oh my I god. Talking to. Series, so, you're ruining this so apparently Professor Layton is also Vera. Oh my god, Dwayne, what are you doing? That was an accident, I swear. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you at this point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> If yeah, Akira Hino you know, were here right now, he'd probably be dead. I know, right? That was an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Now every it time very, I... It was a very unfortunate accident. Now every I time swear. I see Vera, I'm going to imagine that that's Professor Layton, really. <laughs> oh. It's rare. The prof so, so wait a minute, wait a minute. If the professor, if the professor is possessed by the ghost of that guy from the diary, maybe now Luke, uh, maybe now Layton is, himself is possessing Vera. May yes, yes, that's right. So the real Layton is really in there, and by the end of this game, hopefully Layton um, will be Luke, back in about his what body. What I said earlier, please ignore me. I was um sleeping. Professor. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I've got it. Holy Lighting crap. <laughs> again. Don't worry, Professor. Oh. I'll get you out of that. Um, Rots. Lady, uh, I. Um, that, um. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving don't, on. Don't get you out of that. Oh, oh fuck, shit. Oh, what the heck? What, what the? I'll, I'll get. Oh. Luca, and you say I'm horny. Whatever. I'll get you out of that horse what? body. Oh, you're a clever one. I do love clever boys, me. They make me right weak at the knees, honestly. C clever? <laughs> m me? I don't uh, like her. Yes. I, no, me neither. I, uh, you're getting all red again. Aren't you adorable? <laughs> God, oh, she's so nasty. I'm trying to be kind. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the point. <laughs> you can come back anytime, love. 
He's probably like eight or something. The writers were feeling naughty when they wrote her. Um. Don't Luke, worry, I'm Professor. Back. I'll get you out of there. Um, Luke, I'm right here. Why does everyone make such a cursed couple about warning people away from that castle? Ah, a girl that sounds like a man. Luke, run! <laughs> yes, that's the guy who. Okay, whatever. <laughs> You didn't want to go. It's impossible to get up there. It was an accident, I swear. Professor, don't... We, we were in. You were infiltrating Preston's body. Ew. The forest gate is always locked. Oh, I feel dirty. I take it that's the sole path to the castle, then. <laughs> you actually want to go there, don't you? It's a weird and scary place, but I know the feeling. Leave her, Professor. Just move away from her. The gate only happens to let this old stagecoach through. Hmm. Interesting. If you hide in the bushes and wait for the coach, you might be able to sneak in behind it. Fine. So the gate does open. Do you know anything about the stagecoach? Anything? You've got me there. It hands up to the. Oh yeah, this is the part where I actually start actually waiting for the lines. So now we have the opposite problem. Maybe the lovers raw steaks and blood for the vampires' dinner. Blood. Well, well that's macabre. <laughs> I, I mean, mm, steaks. Ooh, did someone but, say blood? But really, I have no idea. Go away. Aww, I wanted to have. Hey, all this talk of stagecoaches is reminding me of this puzzle about horses. Um, uh, wait, where do you get horses from? Stagecoaches, horses. Yeah. Usually, stagecoaches are pulled by horses. But it's still a pretty far stretch to think of a puzzle because it's. Oh, trust me. Oh, 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 you should oh, see oh, the crossover. Me, oh, trust me, Pixie. There's a running. It's basically a running gag uh, between Professor Layton fans, where basically, especially because of Curious Village, because you know, uh, starting with Pandora's Box, level five started in an effort to try to make the puzzles a little more story context and stuff like that. By the time uh -huh. we reach the, by the time we reach the third game, it becomes a uh, much better in that regard. But uh, in Curious Village, there were very few puzzles that were actually story contextual. So there was a lot of times where ev where the professor looked like, for example, there was one moment where the professor looks at an empty ball on the ground, and, he, and, it, and it reminds him of a puzzle. There was one like, time when uh, he even like, looked at a bunch of germs, and it reminded him of a puzzle. In rooms, like in the sky, yeah. where there's like, yeah. hmm, like, 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 uh, <laughs> it's it like the pattern those birds are flying, and reminds me of a puzzle. I it gets even it, better it, in the crossover where it starts to wear on to Phoenix, where he says, "Objection! This reminds me of." A puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, oh, and all, all the puzzles. Um, where do they come from again, Pedro? Because they're real puzzles. Oh yeah. The, the, well, the, 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 the actually, well, the, the the most of the puzzles in the first game, Curious Village, were taken from hmm. uh, Professor Akira Tago's head gymnastics yeah. magazines. You know, the the, the ones that Akira you know, read as a kid and changed. fell in love with when then he made this series. Uh, but uh, starting with this game, Akira Tako himself is, is making up the puzzles for this game. It wasn't too easy, Luke. It took forever solving that puzzle. Oh, Professor, really? It only took me seconds. I could have made, I could have drank three cups of tea in that time. Basically, Pixie, there's a running gag going around with Blue Linton fans uh, about, oh, look, this reminds me of a puzzle. Like, I, I, I think it's, we just said that, but thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we did? Okay. I'll Ign just ig ignore me. Computer mouse and just go, hmm, this okay. reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like I was saying, if you want to go through that gate, the stagecoach is the only way. But you never know what kind of dangerous stuff could be hiding in the woods. So I sh say, stay here. Yes, Luke, stay here. Like I toothpicks will clatter onto right. the ground. All right. And like, well, this more. reminds me of a puzzle with the way they're arranged. Two more yeah. diary keys. So, Jova, get ready. Yep. Do I have to give more screen time to the to the supporting we found cast? We found ore down in the ground that Father thinks we can refine into a precious metal. Personally, I doubt we'll be able to turn something as dull and dead as that rock into something of worth. Not that it stopped Father. The digging has advanced to the point where it's formed a massive crater under the castle. I have visions of the whole castle tumbling down into that abyss. Um, it's totally not me planting the TNT, I swear. <laughs> um, Professor, what? Jova. Today is a day to celebrate. At Thank long you. last, the girl I love has agreed to give me her hand in marriage. I must begin preparing for our arrival at once. I'm gladly, I'm gladly change every fixture and fitting in the 
castle that so that she feels at ease. I'm also commissioning a special dress to be made for her. She's coming to look stunning in it. I just know it. How you see, you. Pixie, what you this is Twilight if it were done competently. I'll talk to you. Now, Luke. Which is, inter which, which, which is interesting because it, uh, this plot involves vampires. Now, Luke. Yeah. Twilight can be done competently? What you well, it is level well, five. Well, the plot. Well, no, actually, actually no. Actually, no. I, I'll even. I, I'll actually say this. For as shit as the plot, Twilight uh, books and movies are, the actual concept of a girl falling in love with a vampire. You can tell a. You can tell an interesting story from that concept. Well, of course, it's just you can. Yeah, to be the hands done. of the right writers. If she was actually had a personality outside. I know. Of I know. That's wood. that's why. That's well, why I was about to say. Well, in the hands the of concept. a good writer, it can be. Uh, well, turn into a but, but when well, get well of course the concept's good. I mean, heck, it's been done before several times as well. Yeah, yeah. It can be done. It's just that Stephanie Meyer has no idea how writing works. How do you screw up something so awesome like that? Sorry, you start by having Stephanie vampires Meyer. sparkle. Stephanie Meyer, the pixie. The woman has no idea how to tell a story. Let me put it like this, pixie. Stephanie Meyer actually said that she would leave Edward... Well, well, no, no, no. Basically, Stephanie Meyer is married. She said once in a live interview that she would leave her own husband for Edward. Oh my god. What a charming woman. Oh my lord. I'm All right, so, we gotta do, so, in order, so in order to get the photo pieces, we need to get past that bulldog. Uh, Can the professor talk in his own game now? Sure. Ahem. Um. Uh. Um. Uh, Hello there, gents. Can I help you today? Oh, you look creepy. Jiro, <laughs> I was trying to say something. What were you trying oh, to say? Oh, no, I didn't say anything. It's fine. We're in desperate need of oh. food for a hungry dog, i.e. me. Do you have anything that fits the bill? <laughs> Professor, did you just compare yourself to a dog? Yes, I bite. Rum. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, yeah, well, that's the most so, interesting it, it, thing well, I've heard all day. got to this point. He didn't strangle him, but he bit him. You do bite, but not in, a, but not in the same way. Um, <laughs> Actually, I was actually I was just pretending to watch Pro you. Professor Layton, the Twindleumma. No, 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 Pedro, no. we haven't gotten to that point yet. No, he was really biting. just biting a wooden table. Now, now, now see here, director, I wasn't biting Luke. I was pretending to bite to show off my awesome biting skills. Get it right. Yeah, the oh. professor's not that rude. Oh, you do bite, but not in that way. Now, Luke, fetch me my tea. Oh, God, God damn it, Luke, you made me miss the whole scene. I love this one. Garlic but is you a were talking to the director, isn't it his but fault? the smell can be pretty potent. Someone put garlic cloves on this intricate container and they're really stinging out the room. Use the two quarks below to help our friend deal with the smell. So yeah, we have two quarks and three holes. How are we going to stop the smell? Uh, what well, what, what, we need what, to draw a line to find the right... What? Find the right ones, where, where, where do the two corks go? Let, let's let's take a hint. Pay attention because uh, okay, the most logical thing to do at first is to use the memo function to trace which openings in the container lead to the garlic cloves. Obviously, I think I might or be you could just you use your What's nose and you smell. Hold on, Dwebs. Something seems um, strange. You say twenty-three oh five or six. Oh, the fact that all three openings in the container connect to the garlic is a bit strange. How to contain the smell then? Uh, what time are you at, Andrew? Uh, 23, 21, 22. Yeah, I'm, I'm like two seconds behind. I'll go to 23... Uh, go to 23, 45. I'm at 23, 40. Okay, right. we'll count you in. There we go. Okay, there do the center one. Okay, now, yes, uh, three, to me. two, one, click. Okay. So he yeah. Strikes again. It, it, it's again. easy. I got it, Professor. Each of the so there's no real way to seal out the container. He's in no way to contain the smell. See? Our friend has no choice but to look up his wait, nostrils. Wait a minute! Didn't you give me that oh. puzzle? Why didn't Luke solve it? I did. Uh, what, well, the pro from well, me? well, Professor, you got behind oh, us. Professor, so you all stand the left. Yeah, you've got a real garlic lover like me to solve that one. Here, you worked for this beef shank, so it's all yours. Yes, yes, I worked for it, but Luke answered it. Director, Here. next time keep your characters fucking consistent. Let's Here. get back to it. Here you go, little boy, I'm since you were the one who solved just... it. But I I'm surprised he's not the one that was gonna take Well, he from. was the one who solved it, sir, you see here? He actually Would admitted that um, Luke was the one that did it. Ah, well, Luke yeah. was the one who did it, you see? So I gave him the beer, see? Mm. I mean, now the beef. <laughs> what are you gonna give me then? It's curtains for you, Muggsy. Curtains. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get a pat on <laughs> oh, the um, head. Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, precious. Here's our chance, Luke. Prime the beef shank. 
because I'm not it's doing it. It's the diaper dog. Oh, oh, so now you're letting Luke throw the the the, the, the I'm already on it. At the, at the dog. Why don't you do it, Professor? But Luke's more skilled with animals. You're True. an adult. True. Yes, but 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 last uh, last but last time I went near a dog, it didn't go well. See, precious is not so bad. I think our little offering did the trick. <laughs> yes, yeah, my little I mean. He's just angry because nobody changes him. I don't him. think this dog is going to do any snarling anytime soon. We can finally explore the rest of the town now. Wait a, wait a minute. One dog prevented us from exploring the small town. Right, Tez, what were you thinking? <laughs> That's a big dog. It's, it's funny considering it's what they dog. deal with on the crossover. Is, the dog is kind of dangerous. To but I can just dog. run over the dog. I'm Professor Hey, Richard. Professor, I'm the can't be. Whatever. These are the photograph. <laughs> I'd say so. Sharp pies, Luke. I'll keep it. I'll place it in my trunk for the safekeeping. Better. All right. So there. Um, I'm in character. Are you happy now? Don't worry, right. Rich. Don't have a care. Don't worry, right, folks. He'll get better we'll get eventually. In the next part, we'll get. We're gonna get the uh, the, the pieces of the photograph. And, and hopefully, our cast will behave. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Lives. yes Luke, behave. Uh, Professor, was I the one who was wearing that awfully girly costume? Ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next part. Yeah. Um.